Oats are commonly recommended for people going on a gluten-free diet as a safe food substitute, but research is finding this might not actually be true. The classic or traditional definition of gluten only indicates wheat, barley, and rye as the grains people should avoid on a gluten-free diet. But a number of research studies performed to evaluate the safety of oats for people suffering from an intolerance report that oat proteins can cause inflammation and damage. Alarmingly, as many as 41% of processed packaged foods Foods are labeled as gluten-free but contain enough gluten to cause damage. It is well established that 20 parts per million is enough gluten to cause inflammation in patients with gluten sensitivity. That's roughly the size of a single bread crumb. Oats are often labeled as gluten-free, but they do in fact contain gluten. The reason it is often mislabeled or recommended as safe is because it contains a different type of gluten than wheat, barley, or rye. Oats contain a form of gluten protein, often referred to as avenin. Oats have a much lower gluten protein content than the other grains, but still contains enough of the prolamine that people react adversely to it. Studies published after 2011 identified oats as being a problem for people with a gluten sensitivity. One study found that the proteins in oat cereal stimulated an immune response similar to wheat. A second study, published in the European Journal of Nutrition, found that some oats triggered an antibody reaction. What all these studies and findings mean is that most people, doctors included, aren't fully aware of the far-reaching effects of a gluten sensitivity. Dr. Peter Osborne is the founder of the Gluten-Free Society, and he has been educating doctors and patients about gluten sensitivity since 2001. He has been featured on Fox News and is Vice President for the American Clinical Board of Nutrition. By joining his mailing list at www.glutenfreesociety.com, you can learn how to go on a true gluten-free diet.